Hello and welcome to A, a Couple, Couple Codes. Codes. My name is Cody. And my name is Emily. And we're both taking time to explore our interests in web development. Specifically, we are completing the Odin Project and documenting our journey on YouTube. Before we tell you about ourselves, let's talk about what the Odin Project is. So the Odin Project is a free full stack web development curriculum supported by an open source community. The curriculum helps people who are interested in becoming web developers learn everything they need to get a job. More specifically, it curates and logically orders high quality resources, allows users to build portfolio worthy projects along the way, and connects beginner and expert level developers in the online community. The Odin Project makes no assumptions about your background. It also does not pop you into an isolated in-browser code editor and hold your hand through the exercises. The Odin Project provides a more realistic web development experience by forcing you to set up your own development environment, encouraging you to Google things when you get stuck, and teaching you to effectively communicate those problems when you are stuck with other developers after you have exhaustively searched the internet for solutions. And that's what drew me into the Odin Project. Not only did I see high praise for the curriculum and the community, but it seemed very practical and oriented toward developing a realistic set of skills for those wanting to work in web development. Yeah, and that leads nicely into us. So let's tell them a little bit about ourselves. Sure. So I have a background in nutritional science and public health research. Two years ago, I completed the HTML and CSS tutorial courses on Code Academy. Prior to that point, I had zero coding experience and I didn't even know what a programming language was, but I was interested in trying a new challenge. So in October of last year, I started the hashtag 100 days of code challenge where I pledged to code every day for 100 days straight. And through that experience, I completed the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript courses on Free Code Camp. These tutorials really piqued my interest in coding and have led me to start the Odin Project. And I study food science. I worked for three years in the food industry for a candy company as a sensory research scientist. Uh, during my role, as a sensory research scientist, I used the R statistical programming language to run statistical analyses, automate repetitive workflows with scripts, and create web apps for a variety of systems across the business. After seeing the usefulness of programming and developing a couple of web apps, I became very interested in web development as a potential career path and started building websites and learning web development in my free time. Specifically, I learned how to set up my own server on a Linode, a cloud hosting provider. I have also built a couple of websites, including one that we use every week for meal prep. Learning by doing has been very helpful, but I know there's a lot in web development that I am not aware of. So I'm interested in building upon my experiences with the more complete picture of web development through the Odin Project. So now we'll provide an overview of our progress so far. We're currently one week into the Odin Project and we've been working on it full time, roughly eight hours a day. We've completed a little over half of the Foundations course and we're currently working on the module on CSS Flexbox. So Cody, what are your thoughts on the program so far? I really appreciate the completeness of it. You're not just gonna learn a single programming language with this curriculum. It does a really good job of explaining how the internet works and the processes and tools that web developers use to make websites. I especially like how it forces you to use the command line and Git from the very beginning. Yeah, I agree about the completeness of it. Despite all the time that I spent on tutorials, I felt like I was missing some pretty big connections. Uh, I began to get really good at just completing tutorial activities, but I had a hard time applying those skills outside of the curriculum's website. So I love how the Odin Project has helped me to set up my own coding environment, um, interpret resources from various different sources, and search for answers to my questions independently. The Foundations course also helped just to answer a lot of questions that I had that it seemed like everyone knew except for me. Just things like how the internet even works and what Git and GitHub are, 
what the command line is and how to use it. Um, so just different topics like that. It really helped to clear the air. Um, so do you have any recommendations for fellow coders? Yeah, I'd say if you're doing the Odin project, uh, definitely um, use the command line for everything. It may seem easier to navigate, move, and copy files via a standard file explorer GUI, but that is probably just because it's more familiar. If you can get in the habit of using tab completion at the command line, then navigating several folders up, over, and down your current path becomes a piece of cake. Having more experience using the command line would have made setting up my server a lot easier. Uh, to be specific though about what I mean um, in using the command line for everything, um, the project actually tells you when to you know, make a new directory or make a file. Uh, definitely follow all of those instructions, um, but while you're looking um, at folders and navigating between folders, uh, make sure to use the command line as well. Uh, lastly, I also use Git for every exercise. Once I complete a significant portion of an exercise, I commit the changes. Once I complete the exercise itself, I push those changes to GitHub. Using both the command line and Git early on are very powerful habits, so definitely start early. Now, I highly recommend using the Pomodoro technique, especially if you have trouble focusing for long periods of time. So it's a time management technique where you work in 25 minute chunks separated by short five to 10 minute breaks. I'd say this has honestly been the number one reason that I've been able to keep up with the curriculum. Um, and my other recommendation, this might be geared more toward beginners, but I think it's beneficial for anyone, is to learn about and try to adopt a growth mindset. A growth mindset is basically the belief that your abilities are not set in stone, that by working at something and by struggling with it, you have the ability to improve your skills over time. This has been helpful for me because I honestly never thought that I could learn to code. I always felt like there were tech people and there were not tech people, and I never felt like I was a tech person. Um, but I am amazed now to look at what I've done and see what I'm capable of, and I firmly believe that anyone can learn these skills if they put in the time. So it's really helpful for me to reflect on this, particularly when I'm struggling with a hard exercise or I get really overwhelmed. I like to bring myself back to this thought process. Um, I was really appreciative that the Odin Project included resources about the growth mindset and some different learning strategies at the start of the Foundations course. Well, that's all we have for today. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to follow along on our journey. Tell us about your own coding journey in the comments below. And thanks for tuning in to A, A Couple, Couple Codes. Codes.